Hey everybody, James here from It's Much More, and in this video we're taking a look at the typing of the dead. The Sega PC version, so the nice big box version we have here. So let's uh, take a look at it, shall we? So that's right, yes, this is the typing of the dead on the Sega PC. So we're going to start off with the House of the Dead 1 here, just a little brief story of what's happened, because this game starts off, I think, during House of the Dead 2, so I don't know why they just didn't do the House of the Dead 1 type of the Dead, because there is a the House of the Dead uh, 2 and the type of the Dead 2, so... But there's a G and Rogan there. The AMS agents taking on those zombies, the green blood zombies. There is uh, the mad scientist, Dr. Curian. And there's some of the bosses that you take on, or well, one of them anyway, and there's another one. Curian, I didn't think you could make it this far. That's just from uh, that boss there. If you played the original, if you haven't, check out uh, the playlist at the top right hand side of your screen. That is the final boss of the House of the Dead 1. Oh, there goes Curian. And then we took out the boss. Go. It's gonna, something's gonna come up now. There we go. There's Curian. He's uh, dead apparently. And there we go. And this is the intro for the House of the Dead 2. We got this on the Dreamcast and the PC as well, so we may play that later. But we do have plenty of other. Sega PC games as well, so check out the playlist at the end of this video and also let us know in the comments of what Sega PC games you'd like us to play because we have a fair few of them, so we'll leave that down to you. There's some nice Dreamcast and keyboards attached to them. There's James, that's a good name. This has been played on Windows 10, 64 bit version of Windows 10. And I've got the, as you saw at the start of the video, I do have the original disc. And original big box as well. So yeah, nice cool intro this, and with the added Dreamcast and the battery pack as a backpack, and the keyboard as well. So uh, yeah, pretty awesome. There's Goldman. So this is a new bit that wasn't on the House Dead Two. Type or die. I don't know what that's on, his back or his eye or his arm, his head, don't know where it said that. So there we are, the typing of the dead. It's going to say that a couple of times whenever we keep pressing the enter key on the menu. So this is just showing you how to play the game. Type the word that indicates on the screen. Type the word correctly and the zombie dies. It's game over when you run out of lives. I do that a couple of times throughout this video. I start typing, then you can press escape to focus on a different one if the word's either too long or the zombie is too close to you. I don't know if you saw that, but that zombie had a celery stick in his hand as well as an axe. So there are some funny things to look out for some of the zombies are holding kitchen utensils and whatnot. So this is just a demo play here. the mission as well. But enough of that. Let's uh, get on with our game, shall we? Right. The typing of the dead. It says arcade mode on the main menu. Original mode, tutorial mode, drill mode, boss mode, rankings, and we like to check out the options first. So here's the options. You can change the difficulty, the amount of life, the keyboard, layout, continues, word size, etc. There's password entry, network mode, which is online TCP IP for the PC. So we may look at that at a later stage. Rankings, lets you check out your rankings for each of the individual game types and chapters. It's 
So we're going to start off with arcade mode. We're not going to do the story mode, we're going to do training mode. So training is for novice typists like me. Clear the stage within 210 seconds. Let's do it. You don't have to worry about doing caps locks either, you just type the word, even though there are some letters in uppercase. Just plow through them. This is a green blood version, but you can on the menu uh, and the options, you can change the blood color. This, oh, I've got that barrel there, the pendant that's in there. Attack the closest zombies first, because the other ones will come after you afterwards. Not very good ranks. Rescue the civilians. Oh, just saved her. What's going to happen to the city? I don't know. Because she was watching it on TV. So there they go. It's got uh, some odd little weapons. So it has an axe and a golf club there, don't I? It's got a toilet plunger. The axes. That's it. Whoa, watch out for that uh, kitchen utensil. So, yeah, I'm going to press escape to move on to the closest zombie to me to get a higher score. I'm going to focus on that one afterwards. The longer word. Oh, I missed that one in there, but these little snaky things are coming at me. The little worm things. Beat 10 zombies, here we go. Oosh, got uh, 8 left, 7 left, lover. Cut here. Tabasco. Piranha. Absurd. Hard eat. Chicken. Smashed it. Stage clear. Training mode is now over. Yes. Let's have a look. I'm above average, which is good. The average has now moved up. I'm level 1, or ranked 1. That's good. First. Type in is E. Okay, E rank. Game over. Game over, yeah! Right, so that was the arcade mode. Well, that was just kind of a, a little bit of it there. So let's show you some of these other menus then. So boss mode, you can just play through the bosses. That just shows you the names of them up there. Some of those are in reverse as well. So there you go, you can play through the boss mode. Drill mode is a typing speed on that one there. Then you've got the accuracy with the zombies going from the right to left or so forth. There's a relax mode there to get rid of the barrels, or reflex, sorry. Special key one, don't know what that is, and that just plays the record. So yeah, back to the start there. Tutorial mode, you can just uh, learn how to type. So that's lesson one, basic finger movements. And then key positioning. So yeah, that may help you guys. So onto the original mode now. Loads of chapters you can select. You can't select this one just yet, chapter six, but you can choose all the other ones. So that tells you what the sort of, uh, this is for absolute beginners this one, so I did tell you underneath the chapters what sort of um, typists it would be better suited for, so yeah, here we go. Got my Dreamcast backpack, meeting G over there. Okay, so I'm next. Get him. Alright, let's go for them. F1, ET. At the top of the screen you as well, you see some uh, F keys. They'll be special items that you pick up. So you can throw them at the enemies. You'll see those later on in the game. Doing quite well so far. A couple of A ranks. There's G. There's my power Dreamcast 
backpack, so it's a. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that's any different on different uh, PC version of the game. If the colour of the drink or swirl is different. Two rank A's there. But yeah, this game is also available on the Dreamcast as well, so I might have a look at because uh, NTSC version of this as well to see if there is a different colour swirl on their backpack. That red uh, hammer that he hits them with. Plunger and a red hammer. My god. Oh, damn it. So, I did pick up a Molotov, you see there, top left hand side. Shows we've got a Molotov. I'll use that in a moment. Whoa. Take care of these frogs a bit. Oosh, there you go. Nice, still nice graphics on this PC version of the game. I would have preferred it being the House Dead 1 instead of the House Dead 2, but you know. Whatever he's throwing at me. Damn it. Again. That's it. Press escape. I missed him. Yes, yeah, so on the first throw, I pressed escape. I'm going to do it again just to get those things that are firing at me because I need my lives. Oh. Damn it. Didn't, didn't, get, didn't kill him in time. Let's go through there. Alright, here we go. Mission. Defeat the 10 zombies. Sonic the Hedgehog. Jet Grind Radio. Okay. So some Sega franchises here. Afterburner as well. Should have been Jet Set Radio. Jet Crime Radio, we'll do that. Crazy Taxi. Sega Rally. Virtual Fighter. Daytona USA over there as well. All these great games. Obviously, the House of the Dead. Or House of the Dead. Space Harrier. Oh man, look at the last one. Godzilla Generations. I'm not going to be able to do that in time. Mission failed. Well, that is a good game, but I don't know if that came out in uh, America or if it's just Japan only. It's very odd that they had that in a power PC version of the game, a game that didn't come out over here. Well, it might have done, I don't know. I don't think it did on Dreamcast. Love sick. Slept well. There's not much of him left, is there? And we have to hold the uh, exclamation mark there, shift key down. Right, so we've got some acid potion to use, so I'll use it on this guy that comes out the door here. Oosh, that's it. So that feature wasn't in um, the House Dead 2 and the Dreamcast, I don't remember, or the PC version. It could just be an exclusive for this, but I don't know. It could be. I might revisit uh, some of the other modes on the PC and the Dreamcast version. Suffer like G did. The most uh, common GIF. Alright. Judgment boss. Squawking seagulls. See, I didn't do it fast enough, but I did still get him. His health bar is at the top middle. My life's at the bottom left hand side. Asta Valista baby. Asta Lavista baby? I thought it was Asta Lavista. Silent, uh, must be with a silent uh, H then. Oh, he's got me here. No. Still got my four lives left. There we go. We're doing alright. What the hell? Damn it, missed it. I don't know if there's an arcade version of this. If there was a uh, keyboards. Be pretty awesome. Tom catting around. No more screwing around. Here we go. Key of the door. Number four. No funny stuff. It's got me. Ouch. What's tragic? 
with oh no, I'm so slow. Damn it. I need to go back to training. Will be your ears. Oh, he's got me. Damn it. Right, well that is all I'm going to play on the Typing of the Dead. So, uh, pretty cool game. And considering there is online multiplayer as well, so we may revisit that at a later stage. Like most of our other Sega PC games, they have online play. So, you can connect to another person on the network with their IP address. So, pretty fun and pretty good thing to do with these games. So yes, well I've been James from It's Much More, thank you very much for watching. If you did like this video why not think about clicking that like button and also subscribing to the channel. If it is your first time here then, uh, or you know, the first time you've seen this video, why not leave us a comment in the comments field below on what game you'd like us to play next. So you take care of yourself and we'll see you soon, all the best, bye bye.